Hello people, I am Javi Kawe, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello! We're looking at Sand Kiank, the official teaser with Topsy Panu and Bumi Pendikar. It's directed by Tushar Hiranandani, and it comes out on Diwali. This has 95% upvotes, 5% downvotes, which is really, really good. It's a good ratio of upvotes to downvotes. But I took a quick look at the comments and there were some people who were complaining about it's cringeworthy because of the makeup, mm. because they used uh, younger people and, and instead of casting older actresses. Why would Anwar Kashyap go with this? This, this is the kind of sentiment we're seeing here in the comments. And so we're acknowledging this going into the video. You do not have to pepper the comments with that notion in particular. While we acknowledge that we're gonna go into this with uh, Hope, hoping that this is going to be a good, you know, ah, trailer. With an open mind. Yeah. So here we go. Thank you to Rashi Mudalkar for making the subtitles on this. How's the makeup looking to you so far? I mean... <laughs> I think it looks fine. It's fine. It's, it's not great. It's fine. But it's, you get the idea. I think it's... They wanted to be able to have the same actress play yeah. the young and the older versions. Yeah. So, I think it's fine. It also seems like kind of a comedy in a way. Yeah, like they're sassy. Plus... We just don't know, we don't know how much of it is going to be them younger and how much of it is them older, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like it could be that them being older is a smaller part of the movie and their, so. their youth is more, but yeah, you, you might be right. Because yeah. it seems like this whole idea of older women being badasses, like these two grannies basically, just kind of being these sharp shooters. Mm -hmm is a very interesting story, and I don't know the true story, yeah. so, well, you know. Well, uh, here's the thing. I agree with the comments in that you could have casted older ladies and that would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we've said a number of times, it is uh, very, very profoundly interesting to see older people who are skilled at something yes. do their thing. And like, for some reason, there's a draw there. There's something just, I don't know. There's something curious about that. Well, yeah, because we see so many things where young people in their prime are really good at something. Right. So it's so much cooler when older people are still kicking ass yeah. and still doing amazing things. There's a South Indian movie we watched, I believe it was South Indian, where there was a whole action sequence in the middle of the film showing a bunch of old ladies working together to help the main character out. Oh, that and was Spider, right? Yeah, when, Spider, when, oh, that's right. When he enlisted the old ladies to help him yes. do the thing. And I yeah. thought that was great. That uh, was that, awesome. That movie was well worth it just for that scene, okay? <laughs> so I agree that it would have been great if they casted older ladies, especially because it's like, how often do old ladies have a role in a movie, you know, and, and here's an opportunity and it's going to younger people. I, I'm conflicted, honestly, because I'm like, well, you need to be able to sell the movie, and you don't know for sure if it's gonna sell when you cast two much older women who are most likely unknowns. I, get, I mean, I don't know who they could have casted because I'm not uh, familiar with the entire lineup of older Indian actresses that are available at, at the disposal of the, of the, you know, the production company. So I have two feelings about it, because there's the business mindset that I have where I'm like, well, you gotta sell it, you know, and you, you got talent in here that will ideally get butts in theaters to go watch this movie. I understand that. Even though it's all serious stuff, it looks like it's kind of a comedy in a way. Yeah, it's tongue in cheek. Yes, and so I think you can get away with the makeup because of that. Because it's not a full-blown serious movie. Even with that little moment with the photos where they take the things off and they put yeah. it back on, like clearly it's a cheeky movie. And therefore, you can get away with a lot given the the tone of the movie. I see both sides, uh, and I would have loved to have seen this movie made twice <laughs> with this version and the version with the older women. I think both are, are reasonable and serviceable films. So it's cool that Anurag Kasha put a stamp on this and, yeah. and is helping out to make this a, 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 you know, make this 
thing come to life. This is certainly a story I've never heard about, even though we don't no. have the full grasp of the entire story, but you, you get that it's two older women who are sharpshooters. And that's definitely different. Once again, you come to India, you get something different. Why I like them using the same actresses playing younger and older is that you still get that same sense of cheekiness in the eyes, right? You get that youthful right. spirit still. And I'm not saying that you can't get that while casting an older actress to play the role. You could still get that, but there is something consistent about it when it is just the same actor playing it the whole way through. Right. I agree with you. I agree with you a lot, actually. I kind of dislike when the biggest example for me is Big Fish. When you had, uh, what's his name? Ewan McGregor in Big Fish mm -hmm. as the young dad. And then they had this guy who I, whose name I can't remember as the older dad. I'm like, these two actors look nothing alike. They sound nothing alike. And yet you're having them, why? It's frustrating for me when it's in the same film. If it's two separate films, I can forgive it more. But when it's in the same film and you have two different actors playing the young and the older version, it's just, just a little bit frustrating. Especially so when they don't have a similar vibe. Quality. You, yeah, you know? similar quality. Yeah. If, you, if you can get the casting just right, yeah. where the younger person and the older person kind of have a similarity in the way that they're performing the role, yeah. then yes, I think it works yeah. in that case. But oftentimes they don't, so it doesn't really work. Now, the other aspect to this is that there is a challenge there as, as actors. Like Brian Cranston, he did a film recently where he was playing a disabled guy in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And that's a challenge as an actor to yeah. play these different kinds of roles. Uh, you have a lot of straight actors who end up playing gay or lesbian roles, right? It's mm -hmm. a challenge because it's cha it's challenging you, you know? And so to have a young person play an older person, you have to, it challenges your movement, like how you respond. Chris Evans did a great job. He did. Uh, I'm not gonna say when, in case it's a spoiler. In a certain movie. In a certain movie that many people have seen. But yeah, it, there's a, there's a, does a great job of playing an older guy with his movement because he was slower and it, it, it felt real. And it wasn't just the movement as well. It, cause it, that's one thing you have to consider when playing older, but then there's also voice. Yes. And he did a great job with the voice. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. And the eyes. Sure. I feel like the eyes are the hardest thing. Cause if, if you look at like really old people, their eyes are just kind of like a bit more tired and careworn. Like I've seen the world and kind of, you know. Yeah, I'm half looking at, for that here. And I say half because like I said, this seems like it's supposed to be tongue in cheek and funny. And so it's less of a concern, but that is kind of cool when, you know, an actor is able to bring that to the table as well, mm -hmm. that level of craft. I think that there's something cool here. It, it could be fun. And, you know, one of the things that we complain about in the States, or at least we used to, not right now so much because it's just the trend, is not enough roles for females being front center and powerful. Yeah. And once again, this is proving my point that India shows you that all the time. You've got two women who are front center and powerful. You yeah. Know, and two gun wielding old, and they're old ladies. I mean, at least in the script. Yeah, and I'm not sure about the period that this movie is set as well, because it looks like it might be set in the past too. In which case, two women who are gun wielding and badasses at gun wielding, that doesn't seem like something that women would traditionally do back right. in the day. Right, I agree. So even cooler. While I hear your, your sentiments and the comments on this video, uh, I, I definitely acknowledge it um, and I get where you're coming from. I'm still curious about it. I'm still interested in watching it and would like to know more. I, I want to definitely check out the trailer yeah. and, and perhaps even check out the film. I'm staying open-minded about it. You know, I, there's a movie I really, really liked called Life with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And you watch them grow old and the makeup is kind of questionable. But I, it still touched me because even though it was really crappy makeup, it moved me at the end of the movie, you know? Well, I think ultimately it doesn't really matter about the makeup so much as long as the performance is strong. You could literally just do a suggestion of age, like a few gray hairs, maybe shade in a few wrinkles. But if you're selling the performance and if the audience is buying it emotionally mm -hmm. and they're with you emotionally, you're fine. Part of what also might be adding to the, re I I can't think of another word right now, but the rejection of the makeup, mm -hmm. you know, the, the uncanny valley effect is because you know that they're young actors. Yeah. That might be compounding it. It's like, you know what they actually look like. And so that's why you might be rejecting it when you look at it. Because if you just saw that person on the street, you might not go, oh, they look like someone who's like 25, but with a bunch of makeup on. Right? You wouldn't say that if you just saw them walking down the street, but because you know who they are, you're automatically going, well, that's obviously not, you know. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'd say, you know, let's give this a shot. Let's see where it goes. Let's be optimistic. Yeah, let's wait for the trailer and see what else they show. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be it could be a lot of fun. And the story's intriguing. And that's what matters at the end of the day is the story and how it moves you. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out a chart Kirk on the social media, Instagram, Twitter, and AsianAvenue.com. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jabster over here. <laughs> Asian Avenue is such an old reference. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Instagram. Instagram. On the instant grams uh, that you get in the mail, Twitters, the tw the, the tweeting birds, and um, yes, and the and the and the, ja and the Tinder jabbies on the Tinder, <laughs> hoping to meet a fine young lady, whippersnapper, who's uh, you know quite religious and good to her family. Mm, that's important. Mm, yes. How do you treat uh, your father? Yes, exactly. Because if you don't listen to your father, you won't listen to me. <laughs> and I'm gonna bend you over my knee and spank you on the high knee if that's the oh. case. Just like we do. I don't, I'm just kidding. I'm just. I'm trying to think of what an old man might say, but okay. it's terrible. Well, yeah. Terrible. You're not gonna get cast in this movie. Terrible. <laughs> Should just stop the video here. But we're not going to because I got my outro left to go. So subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews, random videos, race car related <laughs> stuff, uh, on on Kashyap reviews. And um, Vicky Koshal interviews. Uh -huh, I'm trying yeah. to get specific now. Uh, we got a review for Ugly mm -hmm. and Gangs of Wasipur, which Achara still hasn't watched yet. No, I have not watched Gangs of Wasipur. 